Hi, it's Tracy from Glitter Thumbs, and I'm here to talk to you about the Sizzix Big Shot. Now, this is a die cutting tool that gives you the ability to cut multiple dies in different types of materials. Now, when you purchase this tool, you're not only gonna get the machine, but you're also going to get a multi-purpose platform with several tabs attached to it that will cut according to the thickness of the dies that you get. The framelits are in the front, but if you open up the tab, that's gonna give you the ability to cut the embosslets, the sizzlets, as well as the six Sizzix textures folders. The third one is going to be for thicker materials that you wanna do your textures or your, uh, your embossing folders with, as well as two clear uh, cutting pads that are gonna help protect this platform itself. Now they're gonna stack right on top of each other and roll through, but these are the different things that you can actually cut. This first one is made by Sizzix, it's called a Sizzlets. And on the other side, you can see, I can touch the top of it, but it is a die right there nestled inside of the foam. This die is Provocraft's uh, version of a Sizzix Sizzlets. It's the exact same thing. They use it with their Cuddle Bug, which is another version of the Sizzix Big Shot. It's just a different brand, as well as an embossing folder, which you can use in this machine as well. This is actually a little Nemo cutout, as well as an embossing folder that goes over the top. And I'll show you that later. The next one is the Sizzix Textures. These are texture folders that you're going to use by placing uh, paper in between and rolling it through to create a textured feeling on your paper. This is a larger die. This is also available with Sizzix. It's a very big platform. It cuts multiple images as well. I think about six, five, five or six papers on average. We'll talk about that as well. And look at this one. This one not only cuts, but it also embosses at the same time. That's called an embosslet. This is the newest fun one. These are called framelits. And what happens is, is it gives you the ability to place a die immediately over a picture or a stamped image. And that way I can place it exactly where it needs to go. I know what it's gonna cut out. It's a really fun, fun, fun um, item. And we will discuss that as well. So as far as the embosslets, um, what you're going to do is just place a piece of paper inside of it. You're going to remove the clear. You will be using those, but look at this tab. If you open it up to tab one, you're going to see embosslets up there on the left. We know we need to use that tab then. So we know that that's the thickness we need to use. Place a clear liner below and above it, and that's going to protect your die. It also gives the ability to, to roll through smoothly through the machine. Now, when you roll through the machine, I'm doing this at an angle. So it's kind of, kind of, <laughs> it's going to jiggle a little bit but just firm pressure holding down to the handle, it's very easy to roll through. Now once I open it up, oh wow, this is a little grainy, I apologize. Here is the texture right there. Oh, and it's still a little grainy, I apologize for that. It not only cut it out perfectly, but it did emboss it. The next one is using the little sizzlets. These are tiny little dies that are available to cut little images. This one specifically is a, a kind of a mini Polaroid, but it also is on tab one. So you don't need to change the tabs or the thickness, just layer it between the two clear panels, the cutting pads, put it right into the machine and roll it through. Like I said, you just need some firm pressure. Um, I would recommend cutting it from that angle because <laughs> it uh, wiggles quite a bit but it is still very easy to do. Now, Sizzix had these old machines. Look at that. So it cuts it out perfectly. You can probably get uh, two or three pieces of paper in there. You cut out three images. Now, they are all gonna be the same size, obviously. Now, Sizzix, I remember they came out with this other machine that you had a big handle and used to use all your force to press it down. It was just crazy. So this really helps out quite a bit. Um, makes it a lot easier. Now, in order to use this cuddle bug, you're going to uh, die. You're going to go ahead and use it acting like it's sizzlets. And you're going to place it between the two panes or the two clear cutting pads, I should say. And we're also going to follow with the textures. And you see, I pointed that out earlier. But any paper, you can see I'm using a big giant piece of paper. As long as it fits through, no big deal. We're going to roll it through and it's going to cut the actual image itself. Now there's my little Nemo down left behind. It's very easy to get out. See, I didn't even have to punch, punch it through. 
and you're going to place it inside of this embossing folder. The embossing folder is really great because you're going to be able to see clearly how it looks going through. Now if I just set it in there and closed it, it doesn't quite line up correctly. It's a little off. So what I'm going to do is open it and looking at it, place the little Nemo exactly where it needs to go. Holding it still, then close the embossing folder. Placing the clear underneath, a clear on top, and roll it through. Now, Nemo looks awesome. And uh, what I probably would do is, it is embossed, you can see little Nemo's face in there, but I probably would use a sponge dauber or some type of sponge with ink just to, to bring out those little features and make it easier to see. Now this is a big Z die. This guy's pretty big and I've used it to cut about six average pieces of paper, you know, just the basic um, cardstock papers. Um, this one comes in leaves and I did have a project where I needed to cut out multiple leave images for my daughter for school. Hundreds, <laughs> hundreds. And uh, it was really nice being able to use this machine because all I had to do is roll it through. Um, imagine all the time that it would have taken to cut out hundreds of leaves. And this is giving me the ability to just have it available and everything's uh, uniform. I can pick multiple um, shapes. And like I said, the only downfall is that these are standard sizes. You can't change the sizes of these, but really, I don't need to with this machine. Now I apologize ahead of time because this video is going to cut off and I'm not quite ready for it to do it, but that's how it's saved. But the next thing is going to be the framelits. The framelits are great because they're going to show you exactly what area is going to be cut out. In this case, it's a matching stamp. This is Chalk Talk stamp set. It's available through Stamping Up uh, through my website, tracystoiber.stampingup.net. And it's going to be really great. Like I said, you can use that to go over the top of photos if you want to make sure those photos are cropped exactly where they need to be. The other great thing is Stamping Up has offered this platform and we are cutting out, <laughs> fortunately. Um, but the platform is magnetic, which is really great because that metal framelit that you see is not going to wiggle around the way that it would normally. It does take a little bit of practice without having a magnetic platform. It's still available and it's still workable, but it just makes it a little bit easier to have a magnetic platform available. So you know that when you roll it through, that's where it's going to be. It's not going to shift during the rolling process. That is the Sizzix Big Shot introduction. I hope you learned a lot. Obviously, feel free to follow my YouTube channel or subscribe to it. You can always go to www.glitterthumbs.com for more how-tos and pictures as well. Thank you and have a great day.